Today we're going to work on our 2012 LT50 electric. When you order an electric sawmill that's AC powered, you would hope that the hydraulic system would also be AC powered. But no, you get DC powered and the problems associated with DC power. When I went to order the sawmill, I did request an AC power pack and Woodmeister said that is not an option. So we went ahead, spent $2,500 and bought an AC power pack. We'll get you over here and let you take a look inside the box. This is a lot bigger than our old system. That's a seven and a half horse Baldor and a five gallon tank. Our old system was a three horsepower and a two gallon tank. Well, these pieces are awful large to be sticking where the old pump used to be. The old pump was underneath the desk and it has to sit above the gray pipe. The gray pipe is our dust collection for the edger. But we'll get her up on some blocks and figure it out. A custom installation is going to need custom blocking. Just like your 68 Camaro, up on blocks. Well, we're making progress. Pretty tight fit. Had to modify the leg to the table. Been plugging away at this project for a while. Got all my descriptions of the hoses we need, and uh, we're going to have to upgrade the wiring. What we have now is 12 gauge, got to go to 10 gauge to handle the 30 amps that this 7.5 horse is going to demand. Opened up the hydraulic box on the Super 50 here, and uh, figured out how we're going to plumb in. We're going to these two little lines right here come from each of the DC pumps. We're going to unhook them, going to cap this one off, and run our new pressurized line right into here. That way we have our hydraulic gauge. And then we're still going to leave our discharge line to go through the filter, and then we're going to tee in right here to go back to our hydraulic pump tank. be a pretty easy install. And uh, one thing I was concerned about was the way the valve banking works and I was pretty sure it was open center but wasn't sure so we went ahead and tested it and I'll show you how I did that um, this ain't real safe but who cares basically we're just going to arc across to the solenoid to make one pump work and then we're going to watch, watch the hydraulic gauge if the gauge doesn't go up very high it's an open center if we max out the pressure gauge then it's a closed system.
See that? Just barely moves. Pretty nifty, huh? So it's an open system, and we're going to be ready for a almost painless installation here. It's coming together good, and it should be the greatest thing. Got the wiring done and spun the electric motor over to make sure it's turning in the right direction. And pulled the cap off the pump, getting ready to run some hydraulic lines. So that'll be our next little project. Give you a shot of the DC motors and pump in the tank. We're going to take that out of service, both of them. Got everything hooked up, all the hydraulic lines, fittings, such. Give you a quick rundown of what we got going here. Here's the two hydraulic lines. This is a pressure side for each pump of the DC system. These go in here and here. And now this is our new pressure line off the AC system. Comes in so we can see the pressure, then goes into the manifold from here. It's an open center system. This is a discharge off the manifold. That goes in through the filter, exits the filter, and out through this line right here, back to the tank, and we've capped off the return lines for the old DC system. We need to clean it up a little bit. I got a bunch of zip ties I need to clip, but uh, I have to be outside in the skid loader, and now I got to answer the phone. Okay, we're ready for the smoke test, and if you're seeing this video, everything was successful. We'll flip the switch, and it should self-prime, and away we go. is all tidied up and the power cable attached and we've uh, come up with a problem and it's the electric motor is rocking when we go to start it up so I put some tie backs on it to see if we can control the torquing of the motor at startup the real problem is our hard connection from the tank to the electric motor well to the pump and when the electric motor torques, it's twisting on our steel connection. I went with steel, you know, a solid connection, just to avoid pushing the pump assembly back into the Y of our dust collection. So now we have to put a rubber line right there to isolate the electric motor and pump assembly from the bulk tank which means a little bit more fabrication and some time. Tank's already full of oil. There's no real good drain. So this will be a little bit of a pain, but we'll get her.
Well, look at that. I made a mess. Apparently, I only finger tightened the return line to the tank and uh, started leaking. But if that's the biggest problem I develop, I guess it's not the end of the world. Kind of hate to have a mess right there, but guess what? It happens. Alright, I guess I'll show you the sawmill in action.